Hi kids, it's Miss Nancy. Isn't this wonderful to be back together? And just think, it's another new year. Well, today's story is about Jonah and this big fish. And I mean big. But you know what? We're going to pretend a little bit right now. So, you kids like to pretend, don't you? We are going to play in the water here a little bit. If you have a boat, it floats, doesn't it? But what doesn't float? Let's see. Do you think this buffalo will float? We'll put him in the water and find out. Oh, he's not floating. Maybe this guy will float. No, yeah, he's floating. Let's see if we can get him to do a back float. Look at there. What won't float? Tractors? Boy, that sunk like a rock, didn't it? Boy, it's kind of fun to play in the water. But in the story today, Jonah is supposed to walk to Nivea. But he decides not. He pays somebody to get on a boat. And he's going to get on this boat. And he thinks he's going to get away. So let's go to our story, and I'll read the story out of our Sparks Bible. Jonah and the Big Fish. One day, when Jonah was just minding his own business, God spoke to him. God said, Jonah, I want you to go to Nivea and tell the people that I know they aren't living the way I want them to. I want them to change their ways. Jonah may have started with the right idea, but once he started walking, Jonah began thinking about what a long walk it was to Nivea. <clears throat> hmm, Jonah thought, I don't really want to go to Nivea. I'll go the other way. God will never know. So Jonah walked and he walked and he walked away from Nivea. When Jonah got to the sea, he paid to get on a boat to take him even farther away. Ah, oh, Jonah was yawning and all that walking made him so tired. I'm going to take a nap. Jonah curled up on a pile of rope and fell asleep. But God saw Jonah. Whoosh! God sent a strong wind that tossed the ship to and fro. The sailors were so afraid that they started throwing things overboard to make the boat lighter and save themselves. The sailors worried, what's going on? They woke up Jonah. God is mad at me for not listening, Jonah said, so throw me overboard. And they did. Suddenly, the sea was calm again. Look out, Jonah. Here comes a big fish. Gulp, gulp. The fish swallowed Jonah, and Jonah sat inside the dark, smelly, for three days. That belly stunk in there. Three days and three nights, Jonah prayed. Help me, God. I am sorry. Finally, the fish spit Jonah out on the beach. Trudge, 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 Jonah went to Nivea. He told the people what God had said, and they believed him, and they changed their ways. They decided that they were going to live better. God was happy, and the people of Nivea were now living as God wanted. Pretend you're on a boat. Shall we pretend here? Look at this boat. It's going back and forth and it's just, everybody's just fine. This is going to be Jonah. And he's going to be on this boat. Shall we get him on the boat? 
So he's floating around. Look at him in there. He's sleeping. What do you think we ought to do? Do you think that water is going to stay calm? Or what? Is it getting, it's going to start rocking? And what's going to happen is those people are going to dump him out. And what's going to happen to Jonah? That fish is going to swallow him. And he takes him right up. And he stays in that belly for three days and three nights. And it stinks in there. But he gets spit out. And he's on dry land now. So what shall we do? What's, what's Jonah going to do? He's going to do what God asked him to do. And he's going to start going and walking to Nivea. Even though it's a long, long walk. And he walks and he walks and he walks and he walks. And he gets to Nivea and he tells those people what God has said. And now these people are changing their ways. And they're going to live like God wants them to be good, honest people. So that's our story today. That Jonah asked for God's forgiveness. So if people are doing wrong... If you're doing something wrong, ask God to forgive you, and he will, because he loves you. He loves us all. So let's go to our paper and see what we have to do on our um, take-home sheet. Okay. So here we are, back with our leaflet that says, Jonah and the big fish. See up here in the corner? What color is that? It's green, isn't it? And green is a time of our church, and it's called Epiphany. And we learn. It's a time of learning. So we are learning about Jonah today and his trip to Nivea. Let's take your scissors out and your leaflet, and there's little black lines here. And Miss Steph sent you a popsicle stick with Jonah on it. Can you see him on there? And we are going to fold your paper a little bit and then you can cut your line. And we will make our little puppet. It'll be kind of a puppet. And we are going to have Jonah go on his little journey again. Okay, you got your slits cut? So we're going to start out, he should be, there should be a slit in here, you know, so that he would be in the middle. And he's listening to God, and God told him to go to Nivea. And he, oh, he started walking there, and he's a walking, but then he changed his mind, because it was too far, and he got tired. And remember, he paid some men to get on their boat. I know I cut a hole there. So he's on this boat now. And what happens to him while he's on the boat? Yeah, he fell asleep, didn't he? So he is sound asleep. And then the water gets crazy and it's a rocking back and forth. And the men throw him overboard because Jonah had woke up and he said, it's all my fault. I didn't listen to God. I didn't do what God told me to do. So he threw him over. And what happens next? That's right. <laughs> I know I cut a hole. Jonah gets swallowed by that big fish, didn't he? And he's in that fish's belly for how many days? Three, that's right, three nights and three days. So he's in there, and then that fish spits him out. And he listens to God, and he goes back. He makes the journey to Nivea, and he tells those people what God wants. He wants them to become better and be kind to everybody and 
So Jonah asked for God's forgiveness when he was in that big fish's belly. He said, I'm sorry, will you forgive me? And so Jonah went to Nivea and he helped those people become better citizens and do what God wanted to do. That was in his big plan. So it's kind of fun to have little Jonah as your little puppet. So let's turn your page over and let's do our leaflet here. And you got your stickers and it says, how can you teach, how can you tell each of these kids about God? How would you tell them? You just talk to them, don't you? And you tell kids that God loves you and he loves everybody and he even loves animals. That little boy's talking to an a dog, isn't he? And what's this little boy doing? It looks like he might be reading the Sparks Bible. What do you think? And he's learning about God too. You just have to tell him. You have to speak up and say, God loves you. So there's another voice, and they're happy, aren't they? We're all happy to tell people about God and how God loves them. And you are God's helper. And you can take your colors. You can see I colored my picture. And you know what I plan on doing with mine? It says to make a headband out of it, but... I have a, a box that this fits perfect. I took, I'm going to cut this off, cut it across there, and I'm going to tape it on this box. And anytime I have something I'm worried about or it's just not going right, you know, I'll write it down and put it in this box. And I'm going to give it to God to handle because God will help me. And I will help anybody else. You know, you can be a good helper to other people. So that's our story for today. Shall we do a little prayer? I'm happy to be here, God. I'm ready to hear your story and to become a better person. And I will ask for your forgiveness when I do things wrong. I'm not always perfect. But I know with your help, God, that you will help me. Amen. So kids, I hope you have a good week, and we will see you again. Bye.